everything we can to stop the rise, obviously, of any people like that. But, I mean, I say this in the book about the English Defence League, and I've taken a lot of flack for years about this, but I've, I refuse to say that Tommy Robinson is a Nazi. I refuse to say that he is a fascist. Now, I don't agree with him on everything, and I'm sure he wouldn't agree with me on everything. But it seems to me that if you've got somebody who, who just, as far as I know, has never said a racist thing, as far as I know, I've observed, um, is very, very comfortable and happy and, as it were, a multiracial Luton, but has a very big problem with the Islamic extremists who he saw on his streets and was talking about long before some other people were willing to, then, you know, it would have been, I can't tell you how easy it would have been for my, easier it would have been for my life and career if I'd have been willing to join in years ago and say, Tommy Robinson is a Nazi. I thought and think he is, as I say, I didn't agree with him on everything, he wouldn't agree with me on everything, but I think he, he's a working class guy who doesn't have a PhD and is worried about his country. You know, and I refuse to join in the demonization of everybody um, just because it's helpful in the short term. And, um, and I think it would be untrue and it would be, it, would be, it would be wrong because I think these terms matter. Now, my belief is, by the way, that the people who've been overusing these terms will regret their overuse at some point because they might need them again sometime. And when they do need them, no one will, um, will believe them. So my simple suggestion is consider all of these things, in, consider all of the individual groups and the individuals, see what they say, and, and work out, as I, as I say at one point in the book, work out what, if you are a, a non, as it were, PhD earning <laughs> member of the public, how can you be worried about the things I'm talking about in my book, which are, by the way, all majority opinion worries. I mean, they are just every opinion poll I, in remorseless detail I show this. They, these are the things the general public in the majority are worried about. How can you express that worry without being a Nazi, fascist, racist? I think there are lots of people who are concerned about these things who are not Nazis, not racist, not fascist. And we will do a great disservice to our future if, if we, as I say, for short-term political gain, point the finger at everyone. There will be people, and there are people out there who are genuine extremists, genuine far-right nutters, genuine fascists, neo-Nazis, absolutely. But I just, I worry at the attempt to make opinions which are held by the majority into opinions which are claimed to be uh, um, unacceptable because a great variety of disasters could be ahead of us, but one of the most foreseeable is that one, where you basically make the opinion of the majority of the public into an illegal opinion. Okay, Douglas, well, it's been great to see you. I know you've got some preparation to do for a lecture tonight, so uh, thanks for your time and all the best with that. Look forward to it. It's been a great pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you very much.